Hey everyone, it's Arash here and in today's episode you and I are going to create a fully responsive layout in Figma using a plugin called Breakpoints. It basically allows you to simulate what happens to your design when it's rendered in a browser with different screen sizes. So let's dive in. So here I have three different frames for desktop, tablet and mobile with different layouts. And the reason is when it comes to web design, the way developers make a design responsive is by using breakpoints. If you don't know what breakpoints are, let me quickly explain that to you. Breakpoints are basically different ranges of screen sizes. So for instance, the developer says if the user's screen's width is less than 478 pixels, in this case, show this particular layout to him or her. If it's between 478 pixels and 991 pixels, show this tablet layout. And if it's larger than that, show this desktop layout. Of course, these ranges can be changed depending on the project. And now I'm gonna show you how you can make one single responsive frame out of these three breakpoints. To do that, we are gonna need a plugin. It's called Breakpoints. If you go to the resources section here and from plugins, you look for Breakpoints. I have it right here. You can run it. There it is. I'm gonna zoom out here. The way you can use this plugin is like this. You hit this new adaptive layout, just like that. And as you can see, this frame has been created for us right here. And it says there is no breakpoints. Now here, we need to specify our ranges. I'm gonna click on this plus button twice to have three different ranges. You see, I have 320 to 600, 600 to 960, and 960 to 1280. But I'm gonna change them according to my needs. So I'm gonna click on this value here, and I'm gonna write 1440, because my desktop width is set to 1440. Then for tablet, I'm gonna select this one, and I'm gonna set it to 991. And for mobile, I'm gonna select this one, and I'm gonna set it to 478. All right, as you can see here, we have a ruler with our ranges. And the last thing we need to do is select one of these, for example, this one. And here it says, select a frame used as the master layout for 320 to 477 and then I'm gonna select this frame just like that it's done now I'm gonna select this one and let's select this frame and finally I'm gonna click on this plus button and select our desktop frame and we are done and if I take a look at this frame right here now I can just increase the height let me zoom in I can simply adjust the width and look what happens here is my desktop breakpoint I can decrease the width. As soon as I reach this point, this breakpoint, it will switch to our tablet breakpoint. That's exactly how it works in the coding world. Now I'm gonna make it smaller, just like that. And there we go. As soon as I reached this breakpoint, my layout changed. So this way you can easily and quickly show your clients what the final product will look like. You don't need to wait for the developer to convert your design to code. And that's so beneficial. One thing I'd like to point out here is that this plugin doesn't make your design responsive automatically. So you still need to use constraints and other layout in order to make your elements responsive. It just allows you to switch to different breakpoints just like that okay whatever happens in between these ranges is handled by constraints and auto layout so you see here my elements are responsive and they are stretching that's because I set the constraints for them correctly the other point I'd like to mention is that as soon as you use this plugin your frames are converted to a component and that's amazing so here in this frame this plugin is using an instance of your components so if you make a change here, for example, let me change this text. I'm gonna change it to our special offers. Look what happens here. I'm gonna adjust the width. You see the change I made has been reflected here as well. If you wanna learn how you can make your elements responsive in Figma, make sure to check out this video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Have a wonderful day and see you next time.